What's up YouTube, I'm EVscape and welcome back to another video. Today we are coming back at you with another episode in the Killing Every Monster From Scratch series. Now in the last episode, we managed to kill off 10 Obors. Unfortunately, we didn't get that Hill Giant Club, but that doesn't mean we aren't going to continue. We need to keep moving on, and in this episode, we are definitely going to be killing off the Barrows Brothers. We're going to be doing 9 Barrows Chests at least. However, before we move on to the Barrows Brothers, we need to kill every monster up until those, and the first monster on the list today is a Suqua. So let's go ahead and head over to the Lunar Isle. All right, here we are at the uh, Lunar Isle. Now, these Suquas, literally, the best thing on their drop table is a grimy Guam. So I'll be fucked if I'm sticking around to kill all of these bad boys. We're just going to kill one and get out of here and then move on to the next thing on the list, which is a Warped Jelly, meaning we're heading back to the Catacombs of Karen and we have another chance to grab ourselves an Ancient Shard. And there we go, we got a grimy Marantil. Fucking fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and head down to the Catacombs of Karen, kill ourselves some warp jellies. So on top of the possibility of grabbing ourselves an ancient shard here, these warp jellies also drop a decent amount of runes and alkables. So hopefully we get a shard and make a bit of coin. Not, not 102 coins, but a good coin. Uncut Emerald, not bad. And the final warped jelly. Can we get ourselves an ancient shard? Come on. Nope, just coins. That's shocking. All right, let's get out of here. Next up on the bestiary is an animated adamant armor. We're only going to be killing one of these because we no longer need Warriors Guild tokens. We've already killed all the Cyclopses. So let's just get ourselves a set, kill one, and get out of here and move on to the next one, which is a 113 Greater Demon. And there we go. Adamant armor is down. We get 30 Warriors Guild tokens, but uh, we don't really need them anymore. Moving on to the next one, level 113 Greater Demon. I believe these are also in the Catacombs of Karen. Beautiful. Let's get an actual Ancient Shard this time. We really need to snag one as soon as possible. Ooh, Uncut Diamond. That's an interesting drop. You know what they say. Diamonds are an EVscape's best friend. When I'm a girl, I get a wild dog. And here's the last Greater Demon. Ancient Shard? Nope. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Next up on the best bestiary, ladies and gentlemen, is Darok the Wretched, followed by Guthan the Infested, Torag the Corrupted, and Varric the Defiled, which means we are going on a Barrows run. Now, before we head on this run, there is something that I'm going to have to get for these Barrows trips, and that is a Trident of the Seas. Let's go ahead and purchase one of these, and I'm also going to get myself 250 charges for it. I bought way too many fire runes. Damn it. Need to grab myself a few prayer potions. Let's go with four. And the rest in monkfish. Beautiful. We're ready to go. Alrighty, guys. First Barrow's Chest of the series. What do we get? Oh my god. Oh my god. How? I don't even... Oh my god. Oh, get out of here. Holy crap. I don't... Oh, I don't think I can include this towards the series, though. That's absolutely nuts. Before anybody tells me to kill myself again, that, that was a joke, guys. It was a joke. All right, here we are at Barrows. Let's go ahead and get this started. First up, we're going to be killing Darok. Then we'll move on to the rest of them. Hopefully, we can manage to get ourselves an item. There goes Vera. See you later, Torag. Carol, you're done, son. See you later, Aram. And I guess Guthan is our first tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hook in. Oh, there's Guthan. He's popped up in the middle of the, uh, the maze. I think I can safe spot him in the middle of this room, right? There we go. Little trick for anyone that doesn't know. There we go. He's done. That's all the brothers down. I didn't have to do a puzzle. It didn't even give me a puzzle to go through that door. What on earth is that? That's very strange. I've literally never seen that before. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here goes the first full Barrow's Chest of the series. Bolt Racks, Death Runes. Okay, that's not bad. I can deal with that. First Barrow's Chest is worth... 48k. Not too bad at all. Let's get back there. Alright, here we go, guys. Second chest coming up. 
121 blood runes is all right, and 112 bolt racks, not too bad. Alrighty, chest number three coming up, what do we get? Oh, Lupa. It's the rare drop table, let's get out of here. Although we did get 400 chaos runes from that, which is pretty juicy, and Lupa 6k, not bad. Alright, here we go guys, chest number four, what do we get? A lot of runes, damn son, that's a lot. Alright guys, number five, what do we get? Nothing again. Ugh. Now we need to head back to the Grand Exchange and grab some more monkfish because I have run out. Alrighty, here's chest number six. What do we get? Nothing again. Damn it. Now I've run out of trident charges halfway through this, so we have to go ahead and get some more of those. And there we go. Alrighty guys, chest number seven, come on! Nothing. Oh. Alrighty guys, chest number eight. Nothing again. Come on, I need to get an item. Alright guys, considering the fact that we've already killed Aram and Carol once, this is going to be the last six brother chest, and then we'll do one with only Darok, Guthin, Torag, and Verek after this. So the last six brother chest. Here we go. Oh my god. My god, I've been trying to force spawn this Guthin for so long. I'm just going to open the chest and hope that he spawns and not Carol. Yes, thank god. Alrighty, boys, here it is. The last Barrow's chest of the series. Can we get an item? Please. Please. No item, unfortunately. God damn it. Alright, let's get out of here. Now look, we didn't get any items from Barrows, but that being said, we did get a fuck ton of runes, and I reckon it's going to be worth a decent chunk of change, so let's go ahead and sell them all off. Boom. 355k we got. That's actually fucking epic, boy. We're also going to be keeping the Trident of the Seas because I'm going to need that eventually anyway. Alright, so we are done with the Barrows Brothers. Next up on the bestiary is a Necreal. So let's go head to the Slayer Tower in Canifus. But before we do that, I don't need these prayer pots anymore. So we can sell them back and we're getting dangerously close to that whip, ladies and gentlemen. All right, first Necreal, what do we get? 1.2K coins. These things come at you still after it's dead? Oh, Rune 2 H Sword. That's a good drop. That's what I'm talking about, boy. No way, back to back. Oh, boys. Tooth half of a key. Oh, boys, we're making an absolute bank from these Necreals. And the last Necreal, what do we get? 5,000 coins, not too bad at all. And we managed to get 96k. Gee, that's good. Next up on the bestiary is a Bandos Spiritual Ranger. So we now need to head back out to the Wilderness God Wars Dungeon so that we have a chance of getting an Ecumenical Key. On top of the Spiritual Ranger, we also need to kill a Zamorak Spiritual Warrior. First Spiritual Ranger. One Bronze Arrow P. Let me have a look at their drop table. Yeah, they are fucking shit. So hopefully we get an ecumenical key. <laughs> what is this drop? Why does this say that Oak Short Bows are going for 4.8k? And last Spiritual Ranger, do we get the ecumenical key? No, we get a bowstring. Oh, we get heaps of bowstrings. Man, I should have picked up those unstrung bows. Could have got that fletching XP, damn it. All right, next up is the Zamorak Spiritual Warrior. There we go. Adam and Full Helm, not bad. Mithril play legs, all right. We get a couple decent drops here. And the last spiritual warrior from the Zamorak house, house? Zamorak, whatever. Iron plate skirt, that's shocking. Now, next up on the bestiary is actually a water fiend. And I'm fairly certain we can find water fiends here. That's an ice fiend. You know, it's just occurred to me that we can't find water fiends here. I know where they are. First Ice Fiend. Mithril Arrows, Water Runes. Oh shit, this dragon's gonna mess me up. 151 Water Runes. I'm not gonna lie guys, these drops are pretty trash and this dragon is going to fucking roast me. Let's move on to the next one on the bestiary. The next monster on the bestiary is a Spiritual Ranger from Zamorak. So let's head back to the Wilderness God Wars dungeon. Adamant Fire Arrows, what on earth? These are untradeable, right? Surely. Oh my god. 200... Mm, right. 
Ooh, this is exciting. We just got some iron arrow tips and we already have those headless arrows. Fuck yeah, boys. Give me that fletching XP. And there is the last spiritual ranger. Unfortunately, no ecumenical key. Let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, so that is going to be the last monster we kill this episode. However, I want to check. If we sold the dragon scimitar, we can buy a whip, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fucking do it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for. Let's sell that dragon scimitar off. Let's purchase an abyssal whip. Whew. There it is, boys. And we got 17k left over. That is what I'm talking about. Let's get all the gear out. Gear up and look how beast we look. Woof! Look at that! Max melee hit of 29. We are looking real fucking good, boys. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this episode of the Killing Every Monster from Scratch series. We've now upgraded to a whip. We just killed all of the Barrows brothers. It is really starting to get juicy now. There are a lot of really good monsters coming up that we get to kill. I'm very, very excited for it. I'm especially excited to get into a few more boss monsters. We got some tortured gorillas coming up. We got demonic gorillas coming up. We got all sorts of stuff happening very, very soon. I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are too. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to slap that like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I put out a new video every single day. And if you haven't checked out the live stream, I stream five days a week on Twitch. Link for that will be in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one tomorrow. Take it easy.